it's, it's I was actually debating just like 20 seconds ago okay if I wanted to go ahead because I looked at my last video uploaded which was an update and it was um, January 31st um, 2022 or something 2020 yeah so it was almost a year ago and I was like man here I am constantly making these videos and they keep getting longer and longer apart I wonder if I should just wait a full year to go ahead and make an update video. And then I realized that like, I kind of wanted to go ahead and put one up just because I was talking to a coworker recently and they had mentioned that I should um, keep my YouTube channel updated. Um, even if nothing comes of it, it's just the fact that, you know, like there's, I don't know, it's following a, a, a trajectory journey, I guess, or something. Anyways, um, so here's an update video. Um, last time we talked, I was still in real estate. I am no longer in real estate. So that is actually kind of funny because uh, I remember last time I was talking about it, I was like, yeah, I just went from Cobo Banker to Coastal. Um, within about, I think, a month before my one year anniversary with real estate, I actually ended up leaving real estate. Um, it was just not working out for me. I, I was not the biggest fan of it at all. Um, I just kind of, I don't know. I... I I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that also I, I didn't think I had it, but I've been diagnosed with ADHD. Um, and whenever it would come to the, um, the point of the day where I'd wake up and start studying or like doing something that had to do with real estate, I instead would just kind of sit there and I wouldn't do anything or I'd find something else to do or I wouldn't, you know, I just wouldn't like call clients. I wasn't really like, um, putting my all and my effort into it and it kind of really messed with my head because then I started making excuses and I think in my last video I had said like oh Florida economy and this and that which I mean is true you know like a lot of the economy about a year ago was going through this weird like Florida you know the prices are so high but I think I was using that as my like main excuse in order to not really like do anything when it came to real estate and instead I should have been focusing on like how can I do to stuff to get into real estate if that makes sense like for instance um i know that uh when i was leaving i basically was saying i don't like lying to people you know i really don't like I mean, which this is true though i don't like lying to people i don't like the idea that um if i have you know a house that i'm doing an open house for and it's seven hundred fifty thousand dollars which is huge and great but if um a person comes in and goes hey you do realize this is really overpriced right my job as a realtor was supposed to be to tell them like no no it's it's perfectly valued um this is a great value for you it's got this and that and blah 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 and i didn't like that i really didn't like that i had to like basically like spin the truth on things or like i did tell people you know like i don't know it what i thought was like lies i guess i don't know again i'm not lying to people but i'm kind of like bending the truth and trying to put i'm not a salesman okay i'm not i'm not a salesman sure if i'm working at my restaurant and i am um not relying on the commission to like save my life then i don't care you know for instance um at my restaurant i will go ahead and say to someone you know like oh man like yeah you should totally get the grouper it's a great dish and if they go like oh, i don't want that i go okay no big deal and then they buy something else because usually there's a guaranteed buy somewhere in there like they're going to buy food whether you like it or not i don't ever upsell alcohol either because yes it's great and it adds that little bit of value to your your check and stuff but um it, it, people are going to go in there and they're going to buy whatever they want like if they go in there and they're not a drinker you can't talk them into drinking you know um sure you can probably you know there probably are good salesmen out there they're like yeah you know like i could i could sell iced eskimos like i can go ahead and make people drink whatever um cool like so be it that's not me i'm not that type of person but you know like i just want the guests to be happy um so when it came to real estate if they were like this is really overpriced i'm like you know what yeah it is like sure and my sale wouldn't go through so um I don't know. It just it wasn't for me, and everyone kept saying like the, the two things that you kind of need to be able to be a good realtor is you either need to be in love with money, which I'm not. Anyone that knows me knows that I I don't like money. I hate the concept of money. I I don't like the idea that money also like corrupts a lot of people. 
Um, people are, you know, there's billionaires in the world and there shouldn't be. Um, but anyways, that's getting into like way too deep of topics and people are probably going to now hate me for that idea. And they're like, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I'm like, well, I don't want to talk about that. I want to get into a different situation, which is, um, the second thing is that you either have to love money or you have to be very, um, driven by real estate you have to love real estate you have to like love the idea of like houses and selling houses and flipping houses and like whatever and it's it's just i realize it's not for me like yes it was cool like when you're watching the tv shows and they make it look so easy but it's a very oh, it's a very competitive market the people even the people that you're working with are still going to be competing against you um, like, so at Colwell Banker, I was, you know, working with a whole group of people, but there was no like teams at the, 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 at the, um, branch I was at, you know, in the Palm Harbor area, there were no teams. They just kind of all fought with each other, you know, like, so if you had a, a person, um, that was going to sell their house, like they would stab you in the back in order to get that, you know, they wouldn't just be like, yeah, sure. Like, go ahead and take it, you know? Um, and then when it came to working at Coastal, Yes, they were helping me out as well, but it just didn't feel, I don't know, it just didn't feel right. You know, it didn't really feel like a right fit, even though it was like more luxury and they were helping me out more and they were getting me into open houses and they were getting me like these listings, um, not necessarily getting me listings to like have my own, but they were helping me sell their listings, you know, and that was great. But again, like, I don't know, it just didn't feel right. And the, the clientele I wasn't really meshing with because I had always said I like the higher end clientele because I worked in Beverly Hills and I like that. But when it comes to like talking to them about selling and like real estate, like it just, it wasn't my, like, I don't know. Like I, I still didn't feel right. Like they, they would say stuff like, Oh, this crack in the foundation. Like this, is this going to be fixed? Like by the time that we buy it. And I'm like, I don't know. Like I, why do you care? Um, so it just, it was like, I don't know. I, I kind of, I guess I kind of sound silly now. But I, I ended up realizing that as I was going to my uh, office hours where I would like go into the the branch like building, I guess it's called the office, and I would like set up my laptop and I would type things up and I'd wait for clients to come in. I realized that when I was doing that on like a Monday and like the a Wednesday or something, it wasn't necessarily like I was sitting there going like, yes, I get to talk to people and practice real estate and whatever. It was, oh, sorry. I realized it was more of a detriment to me. And I was like, I don't want to be doing this. Like, I really don't want to be waking up early and then going in and just sitting in the office for like a few hours. And sure, I should be making a lot of phone calls and I should have, you know, like from an open house, I should be calling people back and going like, hey, so how was the open house? Did you like it? Like, what what's the deal? Do you want to put an offer in on it? I, I didn't like it. I really didn't like it. And so um, I realized that as I was going to these office hours, I was bringing my laptop. But what I was doing in the meantime is I was working on Code Academy. I was coding to be a front end developer. Like I was coding to be able to learn how to like do JavaScript and like HTML and CSS. And I don't even know why I was doing that. I just was. And then I realized like I've always liked computers. I've always liked computer programming, like the idea of it, you know, I've always liked the, uh, the role of like the hacker in the movies and TV shows. And I was always blown away by like, Oh, I'm just going to type something up. And I also like the idea that one day you can make your own video games by like typing a few lines of code, you know, obviously more than that, but like, you know what I mean? And then I had talked to a buddy of mine that was working at a company he was telling me, he's like, hey, man, yeah, you should totally get into, you know, developing because it's a market right now that is it's growing, you know, substan substantially. Um, it's blowing up and well, not blowing up, but it's it's big because the Internet's huge, you know, and uh, <sighs> sorry, work from home is still a thing. And a lot of people are doing it and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, oh, my God, you're right. Like I took a computer programming class introduction to it in college, my first year of college, why wouldn't I continue this journey? So, and I realized that I do enjoy like typing on the computer and like doing these things. And I like watching when you click like run or enter, it does something, you know, like I've, again, I've always liked computers. So now that I realize that I'm sitting at my 
career real estate and I was doing coding, like why wasn't I pursuing this instead? So I made a very important phone call and I said to the, the you know, the guy who actually got me the job, my, um, my, I guess, father-in-law, my, my brother-in-law's father. There we go. And, um, I was basically like, Hey, this isn't for me. It really isn't. And they were like, you know what? I had a feeling you were going to make this call sometime soon. And I was like, I, <laughs> I guess I made it obvious. But they were like, so what are you going to do? And I was like, you know what? Like I've actually started studying to be a computer programmer. And they were like, that fits you so much more. Like you're way more detail oriented. You know, you're very meticulous when it comes to like the small details and stuff. You're very much a perfectionist. And when it comes to those things, like you don't really need to, um, you don't need to, sorry, my wife's texting me on my Pixel Watch. Oh yeah, sorry, I got a Pixel Watch as well. And this thing is amazing. I get it that it's not necessarily like, the newest like apple watch where it has everything in features and stuff but i'm a google fanboy i'm a pixel fanboy so naturally like when this thing came out i've been waiting for it for years and it finally did and i was like i'm getting it and i got it and i love it and it's awesome so anyways um back to the, what i was saying I ended up telling them I, it wasn't for me and they, they were telling me that it's a good idea to go into computer programming and um, it's a good market and that if they do need anything in the future they'll let me know you know so Sure enough, Ooh, I started my journey. And I started my journey with 100 devs. And basically, with 100 devs, um, 100 devs is a, uh, uh, I guess, like a boot camp, if you will. It's a it's a boot camp to become a front-end web developer. And um, it's, it's really been helping. I started in, like, I think March or so. And it is now December. Um, my initial goal was to be ready to get a job by, like, December, November, and clearly that's not the case. There's like about 50 or so classes. I'm at like class 25. I'm learning a lot of things. I've learned JavaScript. I've got some HTML and CSS under my belt. But the thing is, is that um, I need to keep learning more foundations and stuff to add to it. And that way I can go ahead and put some stuff together. However, through this entire journey, it's been super exciting. And that's the best part for me is the fact that I, I'm realizing that like every day that I wake up or every day that I have time, I'm always like, I want to be coding. I want to be learning how to code. I want to be doing this, which is great. You know, um, I've been really learning how to put all this stuff together and put it into some sort of program, you know, and it's, it's been awesome. It really has like one thing that excited me is that my, um, my wife was like, Hey, uh, we have a dinner um, on Wednesday, but then her sister texted her and was like, "Hey, we're feeling sick. Uh, did you still want to come over? You know, like, but it's not too bad, but whatever." So I was like, "Wait, I got this!" And for some reason, I thought it was a good idea to just type into my computer, like, "Okay, if you know, like, here's a program. Basically, it's going to ask you if so and so is sick, and if they are sick, we're not going, and if they are, if they're not sick, then we are going." And then so I I showed my wife when she got home, and she was like okay yeah that's that's really cool good job and like gave me like a pat on the head and uh, but for me i was like man that is i don't know like that was really cool and then i keep getting these ideas for like all these different projects i want to make and all these different applications and i just opened up on my main computer because this is my laptop right here i opened up on my main computer like the uh, notepad document and it's literally all like just application ideas and i i want to do them you know i think it's great and i have this really awesome idea for one where I do want to actually go ahead and like put a lot of effort into it, you know, because there's like a hundred hours project we're supposed to do later in the the boot camp, and for me, I'm like, I want to do that. Like, I really want to go ahead and like put this effort into this project. I don't know how viable it is with, especially with the tools I'm learning, but I don't know, and that's what I'm gonna find out. And if not, I'll find a way to do it, or what programming language I need to do it. <laughs> And I love the idea of learning other programming languages like Python and, you know, C and C++ and C Sharp and, um, you know, like MongoDB and Node and all the stuff that we're going to be learning, like React. And I'm really excited, you know. So I'm in the process of doing that right now. And, uh, again, it's very exciting and I, I'm, I'm loving every minute of it. And, like I said, when it comes down to, like, the idea of, you know, the, the next day, you know, like, oh man, like I'm about to go to bed and I wake up and I'm like, I am so ready to click my computer on and just learn new things. You know, like right now I'm learning about array methods and um, it's confusing as hell and it's very difficult to like get my mind around some of the ideas because it's a lot of like memorization on like how different things work. However, 
I know that in my head, like once I learn them and put them together, they're going to do some really cool things. And that's what's exciting for me is the idea that as I'm learning these new ideas in my head, I'm like, I know how I could put that into this application or I could do this to do that. And that's awesome. And that's really cool. So yeah, so there's that. Um, in terms of streaming wise, which is actually kind of funny that I, I, I bring that up because I bring it up every single time and I end up not streaming or I stream for like a day. Um, I'm actually thinking of streaming my studying because I feel like it'll hold me accountable for actually like keeping up with studying and it'll kind of make like a journey of my road to being a software engineer. You know, like if I, if I start streaming like 8 a.m. when I wake up or not when I wake up, when I start like my, my studying until the like two o'clock when I'm getting ready for work, um, if I work that day then um, I feel like I can I can knock off a few a few different um, tick ticks which is like I can start streaming again B I'm streaming during the day when before I was streaming at night and a lot not a lot of people when I was in California were able to come to those streams and the last part is the fact that I will be like held accountable you know like I'll actually if I have people come in they can help me out with homework problems then we could talk about coding and stuff and I could also find a way to like network so that'd be great so I don't know I just think all in all like it'll kind of be a um, it'll kind of be a good thing to do that haven't necessarily decided if I'm gonna actually start doing it yet but I think it's a good it's definitely a good idea and I kind of want to but um, yeah uh no no video game streaming you know because i again like uh video games just take up way too much time and um i don't even think that my computer will be able to handle streaming <laughs> like because again my my um uh oh my god my internet is still not as quick as it should be but yeah so this is an update we're about we're about to hit 17 minutes right now and i know my videos are usually really long but uh that's kind of uh where we're at right now and I, I'll try to, I'll try to, <laughs> I, I always say this, I'll try to make more videos in the future, but I feel like this is kind of like a good thing because now, who knows, I might, you know, I might just like put a, a five minute video up, you know, just to be like, so I'm learning this today, you know, and maybe that'll be a cool thing. And maybe this will be my journey through JavaScript and stuff without streaming. So who knows? Anyways, take care.